been 40 years since the legendary band Def Leppard played its first gig and the band is still going strong. Rick Allen, the drummer, he's been there since the start. But during the band's rise, everything changed. When he lost an arm in a car accident, he says the support of his family, his bandmates and his fans has helped him really shift his way of thinking, create a second job, so to speak, and helped him just live a better life. Here he is describing the accident. I went round this corner too fast and lost control of the car. And as I, uh, as the car rolled, uh, the seat belt actually came undone. And I think that's what took my, took my arm off. And I, I, I actually left the car through the sunroof and landed in a field, um, you know, yards away. So it was, uh, it just surreal. When, when I think back on, on that moment, it's almost like it didn't happen to me. It, it, it seemed like it was some sort of made-up story, but here I am. Surrounded by his artwork, Rick Allen, star drummer of Def Leppard, remembers that day in 1984, a life-changing car accident that led him to a dark place. After I had my accident, um, I, I just wanted to disappear. Um, I, I didn't want to be here anymore. Uh, I felt, I just felt just really horrible. What got him through? Rick says his fans and Def Leppard's unwavering support. I love that the band never said, do you think you're going to come back? Is it possible for you to come back? It was just kind of a, a given you're coming back. Uh, and it really took the pressure off me uh, because nobody ever talked about that. Nobody was ever like, well, are you in? Are you out? It was, it was more when he's good and ready. It'll be the right time, and that's exactly what they did. They they were they were really good. It just it just brought us all closer uh, in terms of that sort of that brotherhood, you know. Two years later, back on stage after the accident, unforgettable. What did it feel like at Monsters of Rock when the crowd was just erupting for you? It felt incredible. It felt uh, for the first time that I was being supported by. The whole planet, you know, there's like 80,000 people out there. And it, it, I just got this overwhelming feeling of everybody was on my side, everybody was rooting for me, and it was such a wonderful feeling. Rick has also renewed his love of painting. You can see his art at Wentworth Galleries around the country. He says this type of art allows him to stay in the moment. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, it's just that 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 zone. That. It's almost like a meditative state, and when you uh, when you arrive at that place, time just disappears. And do you have a favorite in terms of your painting? I um, love them all. I I, I, uh, I really like the Legends uh, series. Legends that he looks up to, each one with a story, a kinship he feels to those artists, and of course his fans, who he says have helped him through so much, including a place in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So when you were inducted into the Hall of Fame, that was a pivotal moment, of course? Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, it, was, it was really the first time I really felt the industry, uh, you know, giving us a big thumbs up. And, uh, and then as a band, the most important thing for us was the fact that it was the largest fan vote. And that, that, that to me, you know, we, we always knew that. Um, now it's official. Incredibly, Rick Allen started playing drums for Def Leppard 40 years ago when he was just 15. Since then, the band has sold 100 million records worldwide, and they've never stopped touring. They hit the road again this summer. Oh, I love it. You love it? Yeah, the gift is being able to play in front of audiences, live audiences. Do you still get that thrill when you hear it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I certainly do. And we all know the song's classics. My favorite, Pour Some Sugar On Me. Any story or any thoughts come to your mind? It's, yeah, it's one of those songs. It's, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, 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 double entendres, that kind of thing. But uh, what a reaction we get from a crowd when we play that. It's like everybody becomes Rough. a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Even the guys. Even the guys. <laughs> <laughs>
Photograph. Oh, Photograph. I think that's, that's probably the song that broke uh, Jeff Levin. I think, uh, you know, back in, uh, back in the, uh, the days of, uh, you know, video TV. And oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's the song that really... I want to sing them all, the now that, but I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> and do you have a favorite song? I actually really love the song Hysteria. Um, it changes uh, somewhat, but that one has always been one of those songs that just gives me uh, so much comfort, so much hope. So, yeah, that's it. That's, that's the song. That's my song. Rick's other talent and now second profession, he's an incredible artist. His artwork is on display in Wentworth galleries across the country. Um, there's a few techniques, mm -hmm. and this, this one of them is this, where I'll posterize a, a photograph and then sketch it onto a canvas. Right. And that, that, to me, a lot of these pieces, they don't really make very much sense when you stand close to them. Right. They're more like geometric shapes. But then when you stand away from them, uh, your mind fills in the blanks, and that—that's the—that's the kind of the trick. Almost like a metaphor to life. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? You have to stand back sometimes. <laughs> and that artwork is really fantastic. A part of the proceeds from the sales of the work goes to his foundation that helps wounded warriors and others with PTSD. And our thanks to him for that.